Hi everyone, today I want to show and actually present something uh, to you which I'm really excited about and I hope you are too. So I have prepared a, a simple um, true terrain scene. The terrain comes from the Burglemere height map pack. There will be a description at the bottom, that's not the point right now. Some true terrain water and some tree assets. Um, on the terrain and we have now the light through our Nishita sky so it's a little bit too much blue sky so you need some clouds and something in there and you could either work with volumetrics or a background or you can can find the right HDRI which there's a lot um, out there you can download and find but it's always a hustle and then the proper HDRI settings if you don't use an add-on can be a little bit confusing and I'm not talking about the hustle of positioning your HDRI uh, properly so what I have done is I have used Blender's new asset system and have created 20 custom made nowhere else to be found um, because I made them all myself uh, 20 HDRI maps and provided them within an asset library so let's take a look so we've got 20 very different HDRIs the icons are just an indication they give not a great uh, um, idea of or just a rough idea of what you're getting so what you can do is just drag and drop a sky in and there you go okay that's a scene lighted by an HDRI now the main magic happens in here when you go to your world properties because there you've got a couple of options so first of all you can play with the brightness of your sky put that to your liking so let's bring this back to one because I think that was good enough you can if you have a different angle and you see the horizon line you can lower your sky or you can just use it to lower the angle of light you can stretch and pinch your sky and of course you can rotate it and by rotating that you will also change the positioning of your light source which is what you need and what you want so what i have found with most most hdris is that when i have found my perfect light positioning it is not always, let's go with this one, it is not always exactly that bit of sky I want to show in my render. And if you uh, download or buy uh, professional HDRIs or something you find on the internet, usually the perfect light setting is where there's a car or a person or a house at the background, which you don't really need. So with this package you get the enable sky overlay option and you just activate that and nothing really changes but what you can now do is and I want you to take a closer look at how the light falls on these edges you can now rotate the sky without changing the light source like so for example you can also change the overlay brightness let's make that a little bit darker and you can see that's a good example of how the light is still the same as if we would not have changed or um, put the overlay on it so i think that is pretty cool tan is the standard and you can play with all these settings and options and create stunning scenes 
Now I try to be as diverse as possible. So let's go with seven, just bring it in and play with the rotation of the sky. Find the, the light as you want your scene to be. Maybe like this. And if you like it, fine. If you want to see another section of the sky, enable the sky overlay and rotate it. Like so. Um, that's it. I hope you find that useful and uh, want to incorporate that pack or this asset library into your workflow. And at the end, I want to show you uh, a neat trick that is also possible with Burglemere Sky Magic. That is, let's take another one like this one. Just bring it in and we'll repeat the steps in here. Let's find a light direction we like. Oh, that was, that looked good, like so, let's go with this, and instead of switching the overlay on to 1, let's just bring it up to 0 0.5, and if we're then rotating the overlay, we kind of create our own sky because we have both available, like so. And this gives you endless possibilities to create the sky of your choice in your scene without having to um, make compromises on the positioning of the light. So thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful and uh, see you in the next video which will be coming soon because True FVX have just released True Assets, which is awesome in itself, but there are some hidden features in there I want to point you at, which are even more amazing. See you then. Bye.